Hey, well, welcome back to Spider-Man. I think I did it. This is a dream sequence. Where'd my suit go? I think I took decontamination a little too far. I'd better put some clothes on. Much better. Let's just go ahead and forget that ever happened. Oh my. Interesting how we're in the lab. We can do this while we're here? Why? That's funny. I'm actually curious if there's any other um, notes for us. Parker says the interface is dangerous, but the boy's a neophyte. Never truly created anything. Thinks we can stay on the sidelines, avoiding the mud. Men died to found this nation. They died to get us to the moon. Every great push forward demands blood. And this next push, this push to rid ourselves of Norman's stink, it may yet be the bloodiest of them all. Not gonna let that happen, Doc. I don't know, man. You get rid of Norman, then none of us can take his place. Always listening, huh, Jill? Always observing, memorizing, stealing. Who have you told about the neural interface, hmm? about my work well it stops here parker i trusted you but instead of recognizing my genius what did you do tried to tear it down accused it of flaws there are no flaws it's a thing of beauty a perfect extension of the mind itself into the world thought given form by these incredible arms but i have only one thought on my mind now Norman's reputation lying in tatters before me. Time to give it shape. Man, this is gut wrenching, or gut gut wrenching, gut wrenching to hear. Defense contracts. He was designing gear for my greatest enemies this entire time. Probably thought it was funny with me making Spider-Man's gear just next door. Neural interface is exacerbating Doc's rage. He may not be able to come back from this. Oh. He was planning this right under my nose. Was it just an idea in his head until the interface pushed him over the edge? How long was he using the device before I realized? Oh, he was playing right underneath his nose. Man. Props to this game. Like, I bet if you play this through a second time, like, you pick up on a lot more. Cause I'm like, so oh, poor So many memories of working here. All tainted now. Oh, I can't interact with that. Yeah, that's... Oh. Sad to see him fall like that. Doc wasn't just reinforcing the arms. He was turning them into weapons. Yep. Man, I can't imagine what it's like to have that happen. To see something that you respect to. Fall from the grades. Alright, yeah, well enough wall game, let's get out of here. Boy oh boy. How the mighty have fallen. Ooh, streets of poison. It's still foggy. Need to work the last of this poison out of my system before I tackle the other villains. Good time to go on patrol. Do we have suits? No, no suits. Oh, and the game's saying let's go on patrol, but we've basically done everything. 
And we have, I guess, four more villains left. Happy to sign autographs, but no selfies. Go down. Yep. Okay to give up on a friend. Oh wow, Pete. Thinking of Otto? That obvious, huh? Yeah, understandable though. Man. The high-minded, generous part of me wants to say never. Being a true friend means being there even when people lose their way. But with what Otto's done, I just don't know, Pete. I guess you have to decide if the Otto Octavius you knew is still in there or not. Maybe if he was ever even in there at all. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, MJ. I gotta process some stuff, I think. Call me anytime, Pete. I'm here for you. Oh, that's a hard question. Honestly, like, for me, like, when do you give up a friend? Like, I think for me, the line is, you give up on a friend when, um... Attention agents in Rosevale. This is Control. What's your status? They're damaging you as an individual. And what I mean is that, like... You have to help yourself before you can help others, but if you feel yourself feeling innately affected by like, your friend's influence, you gotta... Um, you gotta get rid of those friends. You gotta surround those... You gotta surround yourself with people who don't want to drag you down. And I think that's just it. If a friend drags you down constantly... Um, like, this is a very, like, service level explanation over a very deep subject. But... Oh, give me that. Sometimes they get. Yeah, too long. It's hard, because you never want to give up on your friends, but at the same time, you really do need to take care of yourself. And, like, you know, giving up on a friend, like, that's a. It's hard. Like, I've, I've done it before. Um, Jeez. Give it a rest, you guys. Because ideally your social circle is full of people who prop you up and I think that's very important like I'm pretty I think cutthroat about who I spend my time with and the people who are negative and they always bring you down like I just choose not to be friends with them and sometimes like it's hard to like get out of those situations but sometimes you really you need to pull the trigger on that but okay of course there's merit to, get to scorpion but I haven't seen Aunt May face to face since the fire. I think I can afford a quick pit stop at feast. Uh, but part of like being a friend is like you don't like immediately give up on them whenever they're going through a tough time. Union Square. Observation post established. Situation. All right. I guess we're dealing with these guys. Cause your friend's having a bad day, like you want to support them, and that's where is the hard line between uh, them having a bad day and like you helping them through it versus like them really in your making it like, really miserable. Maybe make it less ambiguous. Oh, uh, spider logo. No, we get sued. Man, this is 
I just want to get rid of that guy before. Oh, did they say we don't think we can beat him? I think they're absolutely right. No, and I, I know I someone knocked off from the body armor. This is Hulk smash me. Cool. Wonder if building owners are charging safe rent for these rooftop posts. <laughs> they should. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see.